Hey everyone, welcome to Greg's Garage. Uh, this video is a little, a slight departure from my normal videos. I'm just gonna talk about garage lighting. So as most of you probably have done, you've looked for options to replace old uh, CFL bulbs like this in your garage. In this one, I've got uh, six outlets. Uh, these worked all right. They got bright once they warmed up, but in Canada, uh, cold winter morning, they would take some time to get there. So I looked on Amazon and purchased uh, one of these. I think the brand name is called Pierre Shine. It's a 100 watt light. It's, I think, 10,000 lumens. There's 26 LEDs per bank. It's got some, uh, an aluminum back to dissipate the heat because they do get hot when they're in there. Direct replacement into the light bulb. They're amazing. They're, they are so bright. It transformed the lighting in this garage like you wouldn't believe. Uh, one problem though is I bought the ones that were motion sensing. So it says 360 degree motion sensing, um, which I, okay, where were we? Uh, talking about the motion sensor. Uh, they work well. Uh, however, there is an issue. I'm going to go to the front garage where I also have these installed and they haven't been modified and I'm going to show you what the issue is. Um, so I would recommend if you're working in a garage like this, uh, you wouldn't get a motion sensing light because if you're, say for instance, standing here at my workbench and it doesn't, you don't appear to be moving, the lights shut off and, and they all go off at the exact same time. So it goes from being super bright, 10,000 lumens times six to uh, darkness. And that can be a real pain because you got to do the dance to get everything back on. So uh, my mistake, but I have found a way to modify these. And I'm gonna show that uh, a little bit later on, but I'm gonna go to the front garage and show you what I mean, because those ones have not been modified. Okay, we're back, we're in the front garage. You see I've got uh, four of the exact same lights installed uh, and everything's off. Now what you're going to see when I turn it on is the lights will come off or come on. They'll automatically go out for some reason and you got to do a dance to get them moving. And then I'll show you how long it takes for them to go out again and I won't move. All right, here we go. They're going to be on now. All right, great. They're super bright. They do this every time. Stand by. There, they shut off. That's like an SOP for them. Now we'll dance, get them going. Now I'll just stand here as if I'm working at a workbench. And I think it's usually like 15 seconds or something like that. There goes one. Now usually they all go out at the same time. So, that can be quite annoying in the work workshop. It's great in here. I think it's a good application for in here. So really have to think about uh, what you want your light to do for you, but, and be aware when you're buying them on Amazon, which, which ones they are, because there are no options to turn that off unless you modify it, like I'll show you. All right, there they go, back on. So you can see how instant it is as soon as they start moving. So we'll go back to the, uh, back garage and I'll show you how to do the modification. All right, first thing you need to do is grab yourself a Phillips screwdriver. There are four Phillips head screws that are holding on the top part and uh, that'll get you inside. Okay, now we're inside and you can see uh, power comes in to the board here, here and here. It goes out to the lights through these sockets my wife and I were trying various things because we took one of these lights as a to sacrifice to see if we could figure this out. We tried these other ports, hoping that uh, one of them was motion sensing, the other one wasn't, but that didn't work. Um, I thought about just removing this whole board, but that does, that's not gonna work either. Um, so if you pull this up, you can see there is the motion, sensing device, that little plate. And you can see it's got 
a plus uh, volts in or plus an out and a ground that's wired up to those pins that go up to the top of the board. Uh, we had, I first thing I did was remove this board altogether. So I desoldered these three pins, pulled it out. The light did not work. I tried to remove the uh, out pin. So I pulled it all out, bent the pin forward, and then just soldered in the, the volts plus and the ground. That did not work. The light just did not function. So I put them all back in again, light worked with the motion sensing. Uh, the next thing I did was to solder. We, we had a jumper cable and we were just messing around and we happened to uh, connect the out and the volts plus together and that made the light work. It kept it on and deactivated the motion sensor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solder these two points together. So it says plus and out, and I'm gonna do that right now. Here's a top tip for you. When you uh, turn on your soldering iron early enough to get it warmed up, uh, make sure it's plugged in. All right, there we go. All right, great. That's all you need. Okay, I'll reassemble and we'll put it back up on the ceiling, see if that worked. There we go, back together. Just gotta mark it so I don't get them mixed up. Well, the ones in the front. Um, doesn't take very long to do. My wife and I had a good production line going yesterday. She removed all the caps and exposed the, the part I needed to solder. And I just kept going, zip, 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 got them all done. So it was pretty fast. Um, just so you're aware, this is what I bought on Amazon. Let me steady that. Uh, no longer available. I don't know why, if they just sold out or if there's an issue, but of all the uh, the, an the six answered questions, uh, five of the six were about, can I turn off the motion sensing? Uh, the answer is no, unless you try this modification, if you're so inclined. Um, so I'm gonna put it back up there and see if it uh, works. All right, stand by. Okay, the moment of truth. Yeah. All right, let's give it a few seconds to make sure they don't go out. I think we're good. So I hope this helps you out. If you wanna turn your motion sensing garage lights into non-motion sensing, uh, you don't wanna buy a whole bunch of new lights that uh, 50 to $60 per two of them. That's uh, almost $200 to do this whole uh, garage and very easy fix to make them, uh, to remove the motion sensing. So uh, yeah, that's it. Hope it helps. See ya.